Hey guys, Prestudy here. Uh, just figured I'd show off a little gameplay footage of the new Artificer at level 20. Um, along with the new UI a little bit. It's, it doesn't show the auto attack anymore, but you get this little display of your character, which I don't really think is needed, but whatever. Um, first off, I'll just show off some of the buffs, I guess. Uh, this one right here will add 15% to your attack speed, much like haste, although it doesn't stack with it. Um, it applies it to your armor, so you can only have one armor buff at a time, but so far I think this is the only armor buff that you can have, aside from a uh, uh, Sonic Guard. Uh, this one will add some uh, plus one luck bonus to your cloak. You also get a few arcane spells in your spell book. And you've also got some augmentations which affect your weapons. This right here is the insightful strikes which will add your intelligence modifier to your attack bonus. And over here we've got the insightful damage which does the same thing but to your damage. I'll go ahead and show what that one's like. If you refresh that right there, it goes to 21. You can see it on the item, although you can't see it in your buff bar, so in order to check how much time you have left, you'll have to hover over the item. You've also got uh, secondary uh, buffs to your weapons, which these ones will add damage. There's also one for fire damage, but I don't have that one hot barred right now. Uh, you've also got uh, deadly weapons, which will double the base damage die for your weapon. Uh, that one currently is not working. Uh, and then you've also got some other augments that will add metal types to your weapons. Uh, so far I haven't uh, seen any successful augments on hand wraps yet. So that will require some further looking into. I'll go ahead and add shocking to my weapon. Um, also, part of the capstone is when you use scrolls, wands, or clickies, it makes the spell that you're casting as if you were actually casting it and applying your um, artificer total level. So say I take this scroll of greater heroism, it'll give me 20 minutes of it, along with this blur scroll, which is normally 3 minutes, I'll get 20 minutes of it. Haste will go up to two minutes, although you can't use your meta magics for these scrolls or wands. So, so far, um, the damaging scrolls and wands are fairly weak. Alright, let's go ahead and show the, the rune arm here. This is actually the one that drops out of this set. Um, it's f fairly uncommon. Out of five runs, we only pulled one, so it's not it's not too bad, I guess. But it is the uh, test server, so it most likely will be harder to get on the live server. Uh, the ranged alacrity uh, was added after I got it using uh, crafting. It doesn't show the enhancement bonus or the value of it, but uh, it was a plus two. So I'm guessing there I can add another plus three worth of effects. I've also got it paired with the Epic Hellfire, which is fairly decent so long as you're not fighting um, devils and demons and stuff. Alright, so for the main attack spells, you uh, got Prismatic Strike, which is a totally new one. It does three ticks of damage, sonic, fire, and force. Um, it also has a chance of knocking down your opponent and also stunning them. Uh, and then you've also got flame turret, which is a summon, but uh, it's fairly decent. Although you can't uh, up the damage on it, so when it's summoned, it's just got that damage. You can't change it, although augment summoning does work on it. I don't see what it would really do though. Um, you also got Blade Barrier which can be amplified with your force line of enhancements. 
go ahead and show right over here. Does your force and untyped or physical damage. So that's pretty decent. Um, this class is also geared towards uh, repairing. So you've also got your single repairs along with your mass repairs. You also get the new pet, which has been added to the game, which I'm guessing is probably um, a test for when they bring out druids to see how well or balanced it is. Let's go ahead and start some fighting here. First one I'm going to show off is Tactical Detonation, which is fire and force damage. It's also a AoE, and it also has a chance of knocking down your opponents. So let's uh, get started here. Oh, that was only a three charge. Tactical Detonation. It'll get any of the guys that are within the area around you. One thing that's really annoying is with your bolts, they only stack in stacks of 100. So you run out pretty quickly. Although you do have a spell to uh, create new ones, it's just annoying sometimes. And they also don't stack into quivers. There's your strike. Let's try out a uh, rune arm burst. Let's get another one going off. Yeah, see with this one it kind of sucks because it's a wide shot. Whereas the ones that do the light damage, they are, they pretty much all shoot out in a spiral in front of you. So it's not like spread out like this one. Also, being the test server, you can get the uh, Major Mnemonics pretty cheap, which is a must-have for nuking. Although, when this goes live, you know, you're not going to have too many nukes going around. So a lot of this high-power damage I got going out is going to be soaking up the mana really quickly. I'll go ahead and show off the uh, Precision Enhancement here. It uh, pretty much gives you many shot with your crossbow. It's pretty sweet. I'll do it in the next room when I got these... Uh, the big group. Yeah, it's pretty high damage output. Of course, you know, we'll be getting better stuff as this goes live. I've got some fairly uh, fairly mediocre stuff i got to put together. One funny thing to note is that on the rune arm, you get that bug there. You can only see it when you got True Seeing on, much like with the uh, Inspired. Here's a pretty neat uh, spell right here. Force field lowers the uh, damage that you take by 25%. That in turn with the uh, defiance is actually pretty decent. We'll go ahead and summon out the dog and see uh, got going on for the next room. Um, well, let's see here. The character sheet, you actually get enhancements for them as they level up. And you got the uh, capstone effects where you have to take a certain collection of enhancements in order to get it. 
but he's got improved evasion. You could also make weapons for them by using hand wraps and then combining them with uh, mechanical trap parts. They also can wear any docent that is uh, bound to account or unbound. So let's move on. I'll put him on attack mode so I don't have to uh, tell him what to do. I'll just go in there and beat stuff up. You can clear rooms fairly quickly with the uh, detonation, although you don't really have very much other AoE that's that great. Also select the dog like this and heal him. Although I'm not too sure about healing someone else's dog while using the uh, the party box. That's just a brief look at this class here.